What up, people? This is Bonjo, and I'm out here, you know. This time we're talking about uh, the 20th of January and Donald Trump getting out of the White House versus why would America like Joe Biden? And I got a question for you. Is America really that obsessed with pedophilia? We'll find out on This is Bonjo. And don't forget to buy my merch, boy. Check in my About tab on my YouTube page, uh, and you'll see the link in the about column and uh trust me you want to catch some of that merch it's flying off that shelf get that hitter this is the bonjo show this is not your show i traded the 905 for G -O -O -O. this is bonjo show Wah. i'm the air jordan of eight ball snorting that doesn't wake up in the morning motherfucker right here this is bonjo yeah what up uh yeah so january 20th which is just around the corner i might put this video after january 20th i don't know i'll try not to um but that's when donald trump leaves the mythical magical white house the house that is oversaturated with sins and evil uh i don't think he ever lived in it to begin with i think he's just there for like nine to five kind of deal um, but, uh, like pedo, pedo Biden, I mean, uh, that guy sniffs children's hair and he's been working with Clinton's friends with the Epstein guy, a whole bunch of, uh, pedos as we call them. Um, plus he's friends with Barack Obama, another one, Michael Obama's husband. <laughs> and, uh, it's just crazy. It's just like, it's really crazy. People are quick to quick to do everything uh bad about trump but he's the only one that was fighting against all this stuff against all this pedophilia now you got a governor in uh california that legalizes uh something like uh kids are allowed to do some sort of sexual acts and it's not a pedophilia it's like a the man has a sickness or something. He needs to be go to rehab. Like that's crazy law. Like they're legalizing basically pedophilia, like parts of it, not all of it. That's wild to me. That's wild. And uh, I don't know. It's like you have the Clintons. He he has he's in Epstein's house, and you got all these billionaires, millionaires in this painting at Epstein's house, and they're all wearing red shoes. I think they're part of the Red Shoe Diaries. You know. Uh, you don't want to be part of that, you know? It seems like they go there and sacrifice children and all that stuff. Who knows? That little St. James. They go on the Lolito Express and, and get some youngins, you know? That's disgusting. And that's and that's who Biden's been side by side with this whole time. He's friends with Hillary, Bill, uh, Obama, all these bad, 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 bad presidents, you know? The worst presidents in USA's history. And now... Demon crash! legalizing in places like California it's only a matter of time before that shit spreads everywhere that's why I got a question for you is America really that obsessed with pedophilia especially they come out with that series called cuties and stuff I don't know are they trying to normalize this stuff I don't get it right because you take a man like Trump out that's honest hardworking speaks his mind his truth and you think he's evil yeah sure 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 okay he has one big blemish if you watch the Central Park 5 with Corey Weiss uh, you know, the um, five kids that got blamed for raping that uh, white woman while she was jogging. Is this thing on? And uh, Donald Trump wanted to fund it, fund, fund it with his own money and bring back execution just for these kids. And Corey Weiss did the most time in jail. And he didn't even, he wasn't even like, he didn't even get caught at the beginning. You guys got to watch a documentary. It's called Central Park Five or something. And, uh, his friend was getting arrested and brought in for questioning and his friend was scared because he, he was scared of police like uh, any uh, minority they're scared of police you know especially in America and uh, and so he's like I'll go to the police station with you he wasn't being asked to go to the police station he just went because for moral support and then he Corey Weiss ended up being the only guy of age to get charged with adult and heinous crimes so they just pinned everything on him and made him confess and he did the most time but later on he got uh he freed and he's innocent because the real rapist came out and said um 
said that he did it but donald trump didn't believe him still and still doesn't he never said sorry or nothing so yeah that's a huge blemish on his whole career and it's disgusting but i think i think that's like uh, i guess that's bad i don't know i'm what i'm saying is i'm not a trump supporter i'm not a i think i think he's a little bit better than biden and i know what you guys are thinking oh but there's that video of joe biden saying the n-word so I'm gonna drop the video right he here. He said, quote, we already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. And the court cited him. Yeah, you see that? He did say it, didn't he? But like an actor reciting his lines, he's just reading what a witness told said. So he's reading a court document. He has to say that. He has to say it word by word because he's an attorney. So he did he's not being racist. You got it? So <laughs> so scrap that idea. Joe Biden has lots of blemishes, but not that one. Uh, I don't care if everybody's like, oh, he's a war hero. Man, like Donald Trump said, I like my soldiers not to get caught like little weak bitches. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. But uh, I think y'all Americans are confused, you know, like uh, people that say they've been abducted by aliens. Are you sure those were aliens? Or were you just at an LSD party and you got uh, anal probed by a dildo and not an aliens probe? I don't know, right? And you just seen aliens, you know, because of that LSD. Like, whoa, oh, f what's in my, you know? I don't know. Or are you confused like this? Like, you know, every teenage boy, they lay down, they figure out that they need a soccer uh, napkins after this experience. They're laying down on their back in their bed. They're getting hard. They don't know why they're confused. And then they they bust everywhere, and then they they come on their own asshole. And you're like, oh my god. Does that mean I'm gay now? I just blew a nut on my own butt. Oh no. I think you guys are confused like that. And don't worry, that doesn't mean you're all gay. So get that out of your head. There's some knowledge for you young boys. <laughs> uh, I don't know, so answer my question in the comments. Is America obsessed with pedophilia? Yes or no, huh? And this is Bon Jovi t-shirt. You know what it is, damn. I love that video. Thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate the love, hate. The views, the comments, everything. Uh, welcome to my streets. I like showing you around my neighborhood. Uh, thank you. Dude, I'm in the back streets. Dudes know I clap heat. Y'all better watch how you talking to me. Dudes get locked up, stand up, shot up. A lot going on in my hood. I roll the dice and holla, get them, girl. Daddy need new shoes. Daddy need Pirellis that look mean on 22. Stash box, lack, Xbox, laptop, fax machine, phone. Bulletproof that bitch and I'm gone. Woo! 2003 Suburban Swerving. Too many sips of Henny. If you can guess what uh, lyrics that song's from, you guys get a headshot of me autographed. <laughs> uh, just joking. I was just having fun. Thanks for watching, boys and gals. Remember the rainy days make flowers.